Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And Angelic Scott is singing because dry January is almost over. One He's, more weekend. You have been doing a great job with it. I have not had a cocktail since December 31st. Wow. All right, so let's send it over to Marcy, who's live at Athletic Brewing Company. We hear they have some great non-alcoholic options. Is that right? They sure do, yes. And I just wanted to really quickly address because our producer, Bella, was like, oh my gosh, I love your trucker hat. I don't want people to think that all of a sudden I was like, oh, I'm going to a brewery. I'm going to be cool and wear a trucker hat. No, you actually have to wear one when you are in the, what's it called? In the facility. In the facility. Oh, what a fancy word. For food safety first. For food safety, of course. But then we decided to come back out here first and do the tasting. So that's why we have that. All right, I'm here with my new friend, John. We're talking about Athletic Brewing Company. This is really cool. You were giving me the backstory on how you all started here, but for anyone who's not familiar yet, give us what you're all about. Yeah, so we decided to make craft non-alcoholic beer, mm -hmm. a beer that you can drink anytime, anywhere, and still be at your best. So I love for that. Beer lovers and folks who are coming into beer alike. Yes, and what is with the the name? So athletic. Why are we an athletic brewing company? We wanted to be somebody that was aspirational, that felt good, that was you know, just really celebratory. And yes. athletics is something that everybody can participate in. Definitely. And athletic brewing is too. And you know what, you see it all around because I notice in your kitchen you also have a Peloton bike and treadmill. I love it. So we've got a little bit of everything here. So we've yeah. got some flights in front of us. Let's go through some of the products. Yeah, so we've got our original two beers. We've got Upside Down Golden. Okay. That's uh, our light, hoppy golden. 45 calories brewed to remove gluten. 45 calories? 45 calories. What? So, yeah. Super Is light. that what happens with non-alcoholic stuff? You just remove all the calories? No. Well, oh, <laughs> you're like, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Yeah, our process is proprietary, and we brew to under 0.5%. Whoa. That's delicious. Thank you. I love that. Okay, so that is the... So the golden, under so golden? The upside down upside golden. down golden. Okay, what else do we have? Next one, we have our Run Wild IPA. Okay, that nice. That was the second beer that we produced, and we produced these beers in 2017 to design the process that would expose any errors. Okay. And so these beers kind of proofed our process, and they're also our best selling. Very cool. Now, I mentioned a little bit in my tease that you guys do a little something for trails in the area. Can you explain what that's about? Yes. Yeah, so early on, we decided that to celebrate everything that we do and everything that we love, we'd love to give back part of our business. And okay. So we decided to donate 2% of all sales to trail and park cleanups locally and everywhere we're distributed. So I love that. We've been doing that since the outset. That's incredible. Also, this uh, IPA is delicious. Thank you. It's um, a little bit more, so I know nothing about beer, so if I d describe it kind of in a wine term, that's why, but it's, it feels just a little bit heavier, and it's delicious. Yeah, it was designed to be full-bodied, timeless IPA. Okay, awesome. And then what do we have next? So the next one we're going to try is our Athletic Light. This okay. is 25 calories, zero, zero sugar, five grams of carbs, and designed to be totally crushable any time of the Totally day. crushable. Have you yeah. shotgunned this before, John? I have. <laughs> so proud of you. I love it. Ooh, I think that so, one's my favorite so far. Just like a classic and not just water. because it's 29 calories. All right, and then lastly, what do we have? Lastly, we have the first beer that graduated out of our pilot program. So, so it holds a special place in your heart? It does. Okay. So this is a double hop. It was originally called Double Hop IPA. Now it's called Free Wave Hazy IPA. Whoa. It's very assertive, fruity, zesty, citrusy. and That's how people fresh. describe me, John. <laughs> All right, let's try this one. Okay. Are you going to try it too? Yeah. All right. Well, I know. It's not going to be a surprise for you because you've already had it. Ooh, it is zesty, citrusy. Oh, yeah. I love that. Incredible. If people want to pick some of these up, what's the best way for them to do that? You can go to our website. We okay. Have a store finder on our website. You can also order on our, online. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much, John. Guys, in just a few minutes, we're going to be back, but we're going to be in the facility. I'm going to add some really cool eyewear to my ensemble here, and we're going to see the tanks. We're going to see the pallets of all the cans and how things go from start to finish. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, Mars. Thank you. All right, are you ready to learn something this weekend? Yep. The Connecticut Science Center is the perfect spot to take your family. Yeah, Chief Meteorologist Mark Dixon has all the details live from the Connecticut Science Center. Take a look. 
Hey guys, it's the end of the week. That means we're back here at the Connecticut Science Center and joined by Sean. Hello. And we've got some coffee in we front of do. us. We do. Because we have a, a new series that's going to be starting here at the Science Center very soon. That's right. Uh, we're really happy to introduce our brand new Adult Coffee Club, uh, which is going to be a brand new thing that we're, we're kind of testing out to see if uh, it holds any interest. But it's going to be taught by uh, Professor Loomis from Capital Community College. And uh, it's on the history of flight. All right, so this is going to start in, in February. It is. And it will be on Wednesdays. On Wednesdays. It's a four-part series, so it's going to be four different Wednesdays starting in February. Last class ends in March, um, and it's from 10 to 11.30. Uh, refreshments are included and we'll provide, we'll brew you the coffee <laughs> and provide some refreshments and uh, Professor Lumish will have really fascinating stories to tell about the history of flight. So ctsciencecenter.org you can learn more about the program yes. um, and what it, it's structured in a way that you don't have to go to all four That's or right. sign up for all four. You can drop in and out. If you can go to the, four, the first and the, the third, the yeah. second and the fourth. Like no it particular matter. order. Uh, there is some incentive if you do go to all four. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a little bundle package available right now online. So if you buy the bundle, you will save a little bit of money. Um, and uh, and give it a shot. Uh, if you're available on Wednesday mornings, it's going to be really, really cool. So uh, we talk about what's happening this weekend at the Science Center. Yeah. Um, and we're doing that today about this event because tickets go on sale now. They're on sale right now and we do have limited capacity which okay. is why we wanted to present this to you early because it's a very good chance it will sell out. Okay. Um, it's, it's a fascinating program um, and if uh, you're available on Wednesday mornings sign up give us a shot and come join us for a cup of coffee. Excellent Sean thank you so much. CTSciencecenter.org again is where you can learn more about the program and get the tickets and in the meantime we hope you make the Science Center a destination of yours this weekend. Alright thanks Sean thanks Mark. When the weather